In this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly create a yes or no drop down menu. It's a quick selector that you can say yes or no in a cell. This is great for approvals. It's great for statuses where there's only a yes or no status instead of multiple statuses. And it's much faster than actually typing in yes or no. So in the cell that we want to create the drop down menu, we're just going to double click on it, select that cell and type the at symbol. Scroll down and we're going to see this drop downs component here. Click on that. And the last one in this column is a yes or no. We're going to click on this. Now the way to get this to be in every single row over in the apply to range, all we have to do is add a colon E. Hit enter and you'll see that the drop down chip has been selected for all of the rows. There's one more thing we can do here. Click on advanced options and if you do not like the rounded pill shape, we can select arrow and now it is still a drop down menu. The functionality exists totally the same, but it doesn't look like a pill form and it all already has the coloring of green or red. If you don't even want the arrow, we can select plain text over here and it's still operational. It still functions. We can still double click on it and select yes, double click on it or select no, but it doesn't show the user any indication that they can do this. They just have to know. So I like either the arrow or the chip myself. If you're looking for a more dynamic option, meaning you want more options than just yes or no, we can delete these, go back to the at symbol, click drop downs, and maybe we want a review status. So we can click that. And again, we can just add colon E, enter, and it'll be applied everywhere. We have not started under review and approved here. If you're looking for more tips and tricks on how to use Google Sheets to the best of your ability, how to get the most out of Google Sheets you possibly can, subscribe here on YouTube. It really helps.